Tēnā koutou katoa e te whānau, no mai haere mau, welcome into Palmerston North at Fly Palmy Arena, where it is the Property Brokers Jets hosting the Taylor Hawks in the Sal's NBL. A big welcome to everyone watching live on Sky Sport and also on TikTok. Not giving too much up, but Isaiah Moore is the man to watch. There he is there with the step back. Heron goes up for the rebound, but it's an offensive win for the Hawks. Rasmussen struggling to find his target at the moment is Rasmussen. Bounce pass and the finish. <laughs> Get up, young fella. Liam Judd. Timeout called in this one. And I think the Hawks probably didn't expect this from the Jets early. GJ Gardner Holmes replay. Mustafa Heron. Baxter Jr. Liam Judd. Always a highlight. Not too far away from this team in green. Hawks, brilliant cut coming in and the up and under for the reverse finish. Baxter Jr. to Heron. Heron with the handles, goes one on one with Natai, kicks it out to an open jump. Paul coming in. <laughs> He's doing, don't argue. He's doing it all at the moment, both ends of the floor. Keanu Rasmussen. There he is on that up and under reverse. They started to find a lot of that rhythm against the Sharks. You know, this five unit together, the starters, played big minutes on Sunday, and they looked good early here. Baxter Jr. off the rim, tidies up, throws it down. <laughs> the Tallahassee Tomahawk. Well, if you miss a shot, you want to finish it like that with the rebound. And here he is, Troy Baxter Jr. getting up. Have a look at this. G.J. Gardner-Holmes replay. Nine points the lead to the visitors, the Taylor Hawks. Spin move from oh. Baxter Jr. <laughs> that is some pretty footwork coming in from the big man. Well, that's the mercurial stuff that Troy Baxter Jr. can do. 12 points in the game for him now. And he is really trying to take this team with him. Need to see more out of Heron. Absolutely. Ball ricochets off the legs. Oh, oh Rasmussen, and he yeah. throws it down anyway. He says, make it harder. Make it harder for him. Here's the GJ Gardner Holmes replay. Rasmussen, man, that was a powerful finish. 21 years of age, TJ. Lead still at 10 for the Hawks. Heron pops it inside to Baxter Jr. What a quick pass. Heron kicks it out to Lafayette with the lovely dime and to Judd and he throws it down and not for the first time tonight. Liam Judd's cuts to the basket tonight, especially off the weak side, have absolutely been spot on and importantly he's been rewarded for it. Moore, mere seconds to go with the reverse. Classy stuff, Isaiah Moore. He's a guy to watch right on the buzzer of half time. On the replay, look at that. That is a tough basket. Really hard to finish. And that gives them a six point margin at the half. Nartite has to pick the pocket of Judd. Heron for three. He's the Banks man. It. He's the man. He's the one that's got to fire up and get them going. Scott to Judd. Nartite getting a hand to it, but cleaning up was Heron. Stuff for Heron with the three pulls up. Oh, money. He's going to work, isn't he? Mustafa Heron has eight points already in this third quarter. I don't think they have halftime oranges anymore, but I'd love to know what that man had at the half. And oh, the Hawks Bay Hawks, they just bounced right back. Well, he didn't have lemons. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. Judd thought about the three. He had a bit of space. Decided to give it off to Baxter Jr. Man. Intercept. Another poor pass. Oh, well done, Mustafa Heron, to track that down. Got a hand on it. Saved a basket for sure. Absolutely. That never give up attitude. You also looked at the Hawks are in the bonus too. 
Oh, Baxter, Baxter Jr. Jr. If you do not mind, what a play. That is as good as you will see. Troy Baxter Jr. Wow. With the put back, take a look at this on the GJ Gardner Holmes replay. Gets up, gets the oh. elevation, throws it down. Oh. Gets a shove in the back for good measure. Oh, that is a highlight. Oh, I like it. I'm hungry too. Isaiah Moore. Here we go through Judd. Up and oh. under. A <laughs> lovely finish. Great work, Liam Judd. And it's tie game. He has. He's tied it up. Just kept control of it, didn't he? Going downhill at speed. Speaking of which, Isaiah Moore again showing a burst of speed. He moves to 18 in the game. The stuffer here, and he's on 20 points tonight. Goes into the paint, kicks the ball out to Judd, waiting in the wings. Oh, there's that corner shot. Money ball. He is deadly from the corner, Liam Judd. Sam Grugan wants a timeout, and guess what? First time in the lead for the Manawatu Jets, and it's come with four minutes and 40 seconds left. That is a hard grind by the Jets, and they totally deserve to be in the lead right now. They absolutely do, TJ. You're right. They've battled manfully tonight. Baxter Jr. looking to free himself up. Can't do so. Lafayette. Drove hard. Oh, Judd almost had the finish. Almost had the putback. Wasn't successful. Moore stepping back left to right. Got to Soft stop finish. this man. Got to stop him. He just continues to get to the basket with ease. Big step for someone who shot so well in the last game. Sutherland. Oh, they've responded, the Hawks. Back-to-back -back baskets. A minute, eight seconds left to play. One point, the difference. More. Baxter Jr. tried the block, couldn't get it. So three-point game now. What a game this young man has had tonight. 25 points tonight for Isaiah Moore. Heron to inbound, getting away is Judd Heron with the ball. He'll pull up for the three to tie it. Can't get it. Lafayette with the rebound, and that is the game. Hawks get it. Well, that was certainly rated E for entertaining on your Thursday night. It exceeded our expectations. The Jets pushed the Hawks Bay Hawks right until the very end, but it was the visitors who got the win, 92 points to 89.